What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I have been working on a new piece and I'm actually in the studio at the moment. If you can't tell, have a look behind me. I've been working on a new piece and it's taken me a while to do. So I thought I'd spend some time in the studio today that adding the finished touches to it. So I'm gonna be adding some gold leaf, um, some real gold leaf. So I'll just show you how I usually do it. And yeah, I'm really excited to see this piece come together a bit more. Um, I'll give you a quick glimpse of it now, just so you can see what it looks like before, and then um, obviously how it's gonna be looking after as well. I just wanna say a big thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos. Um, it's a completely new thing for me, sort of uploading and editing and stuff like that. I mean, I have edited before, but just not to the same extent. So I'm really grateful to everyone who has uh, shown a bit of love. And in this vlog, I'm gonna be doing a few different things. So um, I'll be spending a little bit of time in the studio working on this piece. And then I need to frame a piece, which is going to be going to Amsterdam, or is it Munich? I'm not quite sure. And then I've got a really amazing kind of surprise to show you at the end where um, in my last vlog, I don't know if you watched it, but if you haven't, check it out. I'll leave a little link down below so you can see. I took you on a journey with me to one of my clients' homes because they wanted to get a piece commissioned. And yeah, like I've been working on that behind the scenes and I'm so excited to kind of go to the house to deliver it and um, show them the final piece in person. So I'm gonna take you along for that. And um, as always, if you enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe and all of that good stuff. Just got back from the gym and I am going to be framing a piece of artwork which is going to go to, it's going to go to Netherlands. Um, so I thought I'd just show you quickly how I do it and yeah, it's just kind of cool for you to see a nice piece that's going to be framed. The frame's going to be black and the size of the piece is two meters by one meter. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I, I think I did well with that one. I think you did. Oh, I love it. We 
we've actually got Raj and Seth in the house. <laughs> but it's got like a Every lot. time the light changes, it, so, yeah. you see different things. Yeah. And you can see where I put yeah, the yeah. real, the different colour gold leaf on there this time. Can you see in different areas? Like yeah. Here and here and there. And then, so it's got little pops of it. Like, and if it's um, not the best day, you'll still get, gonna... yeah, you'll still get some, some, some really nice lighting on it. That is amazing. That is stunning. Wow, that is so nice, isn't it? Should we put it in and move it in that room? Yeah. 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 Oh, we can twist. Oh, look at that. Is it heavy? Is it heavy? It's not a lot. Can we keep... Oh, that's incredible. Right, it's on the floor. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I thought I'd just finish off this video by talking to you uh, a little bit about art and social media. I'm a prime example of someone who has been able to grow my social media literally from nothing. So, so a lot of people kind of ask what are the things that they should be doing to grow their social media. So I just wanted to spend just a couple of minutes just kind of talking with you about what I think is really important. The Instagram kind of algorithm is always changing so um, I think before when I started uh, my Instagram page back in 2017 it was more focused on photos rather than videos. What I found over time and more so uh, in the last couple of years is that Instagram tends to share your work more if it's uh, a video or um, and snappy videos kind of uh, anywhere between sort of five to 15 seconds, that, 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 and then here's something at the end. So that's one thing I would recommend to you guys. Um, try to take as many videos as you can of your process and what you're doing. It's really important that people can engage with you, not just with your final work, but also with what you're doing to get to that, that final work. So things behind the scenes, whether it's, you know, going to pick up materials, whether it's going on a, um, going to deliver something to a client, you should really try and focus on producing, producing videos. That's the main platform for me, especially to kind of showcase my artwork. It's, it's really competitive now. And I think that if you follow a few art profiles, you'll be bombarded with loads of different art profiles that you can follow. I try to post every other day, maybe not every day if you, if you can, or, if you can, then great. If you can't, then don't beat yourself up about it. Try to do every uh, every other day. Be consistent in whatever you're doing. I think YouTube is a long, longer term project in the sense that you have to spend time kind of understanding what it is that your audience engages with. Definitely rusty and there's so much more stuff that I can work on to improve myself and the way I come across and the quality of my videos. But it's just kind of, I'm, I'm in that learning and, and early development stage of my YouTube uh, career um, behind the scenes things works and works in progress you know a little bit about your own life as well I feel like that's what really gets people engaged so I would recommend with YouTube that you take um, an approach where you're sh sharing a little bit more about your process and also um, about your work I'm not a massive TikTok I think it's sort of similar to Instagram in the sense that it's just um, just short snappy videos of, of things so whatever whatever form of art that you do, you can you, you can do that, and sometimes it may just be easier for you to um, just be consistent in whatever you do. I just thought I'd share a few words like um, to, to to help because it's something I get asked a lot about in my DMs. How can I grow my, my Instagram in particular? How can I reach more people? How do I sell my art? I mean, I don't have a magic kind of answer, magic wand to that, but I think that even if you're doing these small simple steps consistently that will help both <laughs> ah you better on camera i don't know if you caught any of that but anyway as i was saying um just be consistent in whatever you do um 
I'm really grateful for everyone who's who's watching this and I uh, really appreciate all your support, whether you're liking it or commenting or even subscribing to my channel. I'm really, really grateful. I'm just going to end the vlog here and say thank you all for watching and I'll catch you guys at the next one.